Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Eric Z. Welcome to my channel. Maybe I'll show you something. Maybe you might learn a little bit. Hit it! All right, the 2K heads had plenty of time to dry. I level sanded it, wet sanding with 400 grit sandpaper. Came out pretty good. Had one little issue I noticed on the fretboard. It was right there. Filled it with some CA glue, and then I'll level that off. And then I'll hit it with uh, about three more coats of the 2K. It's coming along. So I've been kind of brainstorming here about what I'm going to do with electronics for this guitar. Do I want to leave it as a humbucker humbucker, volume tone, three-way switch, output jack, you know, pretty boring. So I've been kind of doing a little bit with other guitars I've been giving away or working on as far as the tone capacitors go for bridge and neck pickups. Now, I've been doing a 47 on the bridge and a 22 on the neck. And it gives you a little bit more of a wider cutoff as far as the tone control goes using the capacitors. Now, for this guitar here, I wanted to do the same thing, so I picked up a set of orange drops. Now, I have a bunch of capacitors, but they're not, you know, the orange drop. They're basically kind of um, their quality, but they're not this quality. All right. I've got the push and pull pots and uh you know i've got a bunch of switches you know what i want to do as far as configuring the pickups go i already got the uh pickups um i pretty much have almost everything but for what i was thinking of doing i needed more of the push and pull pots so i got online to the place i order my parts from and they're out of stock of the ones i just picked up not too long ago so they're going to be um, coming in from out of the country. Be waiting about a month before they get here. So I ordered them, but uh, I kind of want to work on this thing now. So what do I want to do? How do I want to do this? Do I want to go with the in phase, out of phase? Do I want to go with the um, you know coil splitting? You know what do I want to do? Well, I came up with this and I picked this up. Yep, so if you guess Jimmy Page, that's what I'm going to end up doing. So I found this on eBay, and I figured, you know, if I wait to get the other pots, the push and pull ones, uh, they're basically the same thing as these are. And I could wire this up myself. It isn't that difficult, but this seems to be a lot easier. And all I have to do is connect the pickups to those terminals right there, the screw terminals, and the three-way switch output check, and that's it. Uh, I'll have to add my grounds, but uh, yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy, and I'll have a shitload variety of settings and different tones. So I can't play like Jimmy Page, and I'm not going to really sound like Jimmy Page, but these are the Jimmy Page schematics for how his guitar is set up, or would be set up, I guess. Um, you know, I know it's not a Gibson, but, uh, you know, here are the schematics for you guys, just in case uh, you want to do some wiring yourself. So one of the ongoing jokes a long time ago, well, wasn't that long ago, was every time when I went on eBay, everyone would sit there and say, Eric, buy me, Eric, buy me, because they knew I was going to be buying something. 
So I was hunting down on eBay, not really looking for anything, but I came across this. So I picked up a 2017 Dean Shire semi hollow body. Love the color of this thing. My buddy has a 57 Chevy two-tone white and this aqua color. Now the shipping of this thing shows like $92. I think it said on there. I didn't pay that because of my location. So it was a little bit over $300, but not by much. Now, I did a lot of research on this guitar before I bought it. This guitar is in perfect condition. The, list, the lister said that uh, he only played it like twice and babied it the whole time that he's had it. And the pictures kind of show that he took good care of this thing. Now, I brought up a bunch of uh, listings of this same guitar just to see what the price range was going to be for used, new, and beat up and everything else so i think i did pretty good with this nice thing too it's got mono and stereo outputs on it so that wouldn't be a guitar that i would do any modifications on uh it's got grover tuners on it it's already got you know from the factory some mods already taken care of and done already to it i kind of like the idea of having a mono and a stereo output jack that i want to kind of look into as far as uh maybe doing some mods on some of my other guitars would adding a stereo and mono jack on there as well just to see how it's going to work out and if i can do it uh did find a few more listings. Walmart even sells that guitar, but everybody that I've uh, seen online, basically it's either out of stock or uh, unavailable. Now, one other listing I found on eBay for a black uh, Shire is that um, it was $300, had a nice crack going through the body, and it was chipped up where the strap locks are. So, you know, maybe that guy will get that kind of money for it. I don't know. But as far as what I'm doing with it, um, maybe possibly a future giveaway. Who knows? We'll see. All right, guys, take it easy. Have a good one. A little bit of an update to what I've been doing and how I've been doing it. Maybe you guys learned something. I don't know. You tell me. Take care. Have a good one.